fractions. Order relations with me, Catherine. Let's review inequalities for a second. Remember, whenever we have the prefix in, that means not. Inequalities actually means equal. So what we're looking for are when numbers are not equal to each other. Inequalities actually compare numbers. So let's look at our symbols. The first one we have here is less than, and the example is 10 is less than 15. How I remember which way the symbol should go is I was taught that the alligator is going to eat the bigger number. So you see the jaw is using the less than symbol. Let's look at greater than. This is the symbol for greater than. And once again, I think about the alligator and it's going to eat the bigger number. Do you see the jaw of the alligator looks like the greater than symbol? I know it's so elementary, but it works. And then finally we have the equal sign. That means that the both of the numbers are the same. So, you know, the alligator wants to eat both of them. Let's figure out which inequality symbol we're going to put in the box. Place the less than, greater than, or equal symbol in the box. What we're going to do is we're going to find a common denominator, just like we did for adding and subtracting fractions. So let's look at the first one. What I did is I took 5 eighths and I multiplied by the other denominator, 5. That's why I have 5 times 5 over 8 times 5. When I look at 3 fifths, you're going to notice that I multiplied the top and the bottom by 8, the other denominator. When we multiply, we get 25 over 40 and 24 over 40. Since the denominator or the bottoms are the same, we're just going to look at the numerators or the tops. So which is bigger, 25 or 24? You can even ask yourself, well, would you rather have $25 or $24? I personally ask, would I rather have 25 M&Ms or 24 M&Ms? Well, yeah, I'd rather have 25. That means that 5 eighths is larger than 3 fifths. Let's look at the next one. You'll see that the first thing I did was multiplied by each other's denominator. I took 6 sevenths times 9 over 9, and then 8 ninths times 7 over 7. When we multiply, we end up with 54 over 63, and 56 over 63. In this case, since the bottom or the denominators are the same, I don't care. So which number is bigger, 54 or 56? Well, in this case, 56 is larger. So that means that 6 sevenths is smaller than 8 ninths or 6 sevenths is less than 8 ninths. Here's two for you to practice. You're going to pause the lesson, figure out which symbol to put in there, and then press play to check. Let's see how you did. So we have 2 ninths and 1 third. Once again, I multiplied by each other's denominator. So I took 2 ninths times 3 over 3, and then 1 third times 9 over 9. This gave me 6 over 27 and 9 over 27. Hopefully you see that 9 is bigger than 6. That means that 2 ninths is less than 1 third. Or the alligator is eating 1 third because the 9 way down here on the bottom is larger. Let's look at the second one. Once again, I multiplied by each other's denominator. This time I didn't color them. So I took 3 fourths times 8 over 8, and 6 eighths times 4 over 4. Now we get 24 over 32 and 24 over 32. Well, the bottoms are the same. That's great. So let's look at the tops. They're exactly the same. So do you know what that means? It means that 3 fourths is exactly the same as 6 eighths. They're equivalent. OK, here we are at the self quiz. You're going to pause the quiz, solve, then press play to check. All right, let's see how you did. Let's look at number one. The first thing that I did was multiply by each other's denominator. So I took 7 eighths times 5 over 5, and then 4 fifths times 8 over 8. This gives me 35 over 40 and 32 over 40. Which is bigger, 35 or 32? Yeah, 35. So that means that 7 eighths is larger than 4 fifths. 
Remember, the alligator is eating the bigger number. Let's look at number two. Once again, I multiplied by each other's denominator. So I took one ninth times three over three, and then two thirds times nine over nine. This gives us three over 27 and 18 over 27. Since the bottoms or the denominators are the same, we're just gonna ignore it. Three and 18, hmm, which one's larger? Well, yeah, 18. That means that one ninth is less than two thirds. Since 18 is larger, I want the alligator to eat it, the 18. Let's look at the last one, number three. Once again, I multiplied by each other's denominator. When I did this, this gives me 42 over 98 and 42 over 98. In this case, they're exactly the same, which means 3 sevenths equals 6 over 14. Don't worry that this is the end of the video. I have more coming. Did you know that there are video guides and worksheets available for all of the Pie Crustable Lecture series? Yeah! Make sure to subscribe so you don't want to miss the new videos. I love math. I love this stuff. Have a request? Let me know at piecrustable at gmail.com or in this YouTube comment box below. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope you'll join me again.